Hey guys, what's up? So today we are going to be doing a full face of first impressions. I have actually, oddly enough, never done this video before, which is kind of insane to me, but I've been really requested to do some of these because I do a lot of makeup tutorials, but I don't do a lot of like strictly first impression products, so I thought why not give it a go today? Now I will say there are actually three products in here that I have used before, however let me just explain. First of which is a mascara because quite frankly I don't buy new mascaras that often, so I just wanted to reuse one that I had, and then the only other two products that I'm reusing are my primer and foundation because my skin has been freaking out recently. It is so cold here in NYC. Actually today it's a blizzard. Uh, my work was canceled. Uh, there's a ton of snow. Nobody can get into the city, but because of the super cold weather, my skin has been freaking out. You can probably see some breakouts on my face right now, which I have never had a problem with before. However, because of that, I'm going to be using some foundation and primer products that are specifically for acne prone skin. Um, so just to kind of protect my face, that's why I'm going to be using products that I'm already familiar with. However, everything else in this video is totally totally new to me um, and I just can't wait to try them out on camera and tell you guys what I think so let's just get into this video okay so my glasses are off wow I look super tired um, so the primer that I'm gonna go in with today is from elf cosmetics this is the blemish control face primer with salicylic acid in it and then the foundation that I'm going in with today is the Clinique acne solutions foundation again with salicylic acid in this so these two products together I just think work very very well when I'm having some problems with my skin but I'm just gonna go in with that primer and foundation and not gonna spend a lot of time talking about this and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now concealer time, and now it's time for two of our brand new products. I'm gonna be using two concealers from Benefit Cosmetics that I have been dying to try recently. The first of which is the Boing Hydrating Concealer that I'm going to be using underneath my eyes today. And then to help fix any blemishes and other problem areas that I have on my skin, I'm gonna be using the Boing Industrial Strength Concealer. This is a very, very full coverage concealer, so I've been told. And then the Hydrating Concealer right here kind of interests me because it has the product in the middle and then like a hydrating almost like gel it looks like on the outside so we'll see how these work um, and let's just get down to it so on first application it actually feels kind of nice I thought that this hydrating concealer was going to feel a little bit oily usually I would probably stay away from this because it's still cold outside I've been dealing with some dry skin I've heard that this is kind of a light weight coverage concealer or light coverage not lightweight <laughs> so I probably put on a little bit more than most people do now I'm just gonna blend that out with my elf concealer brush which I really like this one this is like my favorite concealer brush to use I will say that I am pleased with myself and I think that I shade match this really really well I will say that I'm really pleased with the overall coverage and like brightening effect that this gives that is really nice okay so now what I'm a little bit more interested in is the industrial strength concealer just because I've been getting so many blemishes recently it's not even funny it's just so frustrating so I'm just gonna dot it on the problem areas again just using a different concealer brush from elf and then I'm gonna blend it in with the same one that I use underneath my eyes Okay, so after the first layer, I think I'm gonna have to do a second one because it definitely covered up a lot of the blemishes that I've been having, but the redness isn't gone completely, um, which maybe that's my fault. I should have used like a color corrector underneath this. But I definitely think that the coverage is there. I'd like to try it on a day that the blemishes aren't as red, and I think, again, it's because it's also really cold outside right now. What I do really like about this as well is it doesn't feel heavy, which a lot of full coverage concealers feel like they're just kind of sitting on my face, for me at least, like when I'm applying my makeup. 
but okay I don't think it's bad all in all the lighting is like super bright right now I feel like I look super white it's because I'm filming right by my window okay now to set everything I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D locket setting powder I got this little deluxe size sample at Sephora recently I have been dying to try this but I don't want to buy a full size until I know if I like it um, so I'm just gonna be applying this all over my skin I'm a little worried because it says that it's a translucent powder but on some I've seen that it kind of has a little bit of a white cast so we'll see I also don't want to like over apply because my skin has been dry enough with this crazy weather it's ridiculous because if you've been watching my channel at all you know that I deal with really oily skin so the fact that this winter is like freaking my skin out so much makes me a little worried okay so as I'm looking in the mirror I don't see like any sort of white cast on the skin. I do think that it did a nice job at like highlighting everything overall, just making it look very bright. But I don't think that it made anything look white or too cakey. But again, my glasses are off, so I can't see that much yet. So next, we're gonna go into bronzer, blush, and highlight. And for my bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Stellar Face Sculptor Palette in Nebula. This is a very warm toned little trio palette of two highlighters and a bronzer. So I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. I will say that I have swatched these on my hand before, but I haven't tried them on my face yet. So I'm gonna go in with this bronzer. It's very warm tone because the eye look that I'm doing is semi warm toned. Woo, that's pigmented. I just realized my uh, <laughs> my mirror was covering up the camera at that point. You really like don't have to dip into the pan like at all. It's super, super pigmented, but I do like that it blends out so easily. For blush, uh, this one, I don't know how I feel about it yet because like I didn't really know what to do with it when I bought it. It looked really interesting and I was like, I'm going to try it as a blush today. This is one of the Wet n Wild Shimmer palettes in the color I'll Have a Cosmo. Now I feel like this can be used as either like a blush, a blush topper, or even a highlight with certain looks. However, I'm going to focus kind of on the top of the pan where like the darker pink colors are and I'm going to try using this as a blush. I feel like I'm going to need a denser brush to apply this. So I'm going to be using this giant blush brush that I got from Coastal Scents and let's just try this. I feel like even though it's not super pigmented, it's a nice winter blush color because it is kind of light. I think I'm gonna take back any preconceived notions that I had about this product. This is giving, I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera, but it's giving me a very nice natural like luminosity to the skin and it's actually helping it look a little bit more like hydrated and awake. Okay, you know what? I shouldn't have doubted this though because Wet n Wild has really been stepping up their game recently. For the highlight, we're gonna be going back into that Stellar palette. I'm gonna use this more like champagne, like topaz color rather than the gold because I feel like this is a little bit more winter appropriate, but it's still warm toned. I'm gonna be applying the highlight with one of my highlighting brushes from Morphe. Oh! Do you guys see that? Holy mother, this is so... Pretty. This is a really metallic highlight and even like using it dry, it's so reflective, but I don't think that it's really emphasizing any texture. I feel like wet, these would also be like dangerously pretty. I'm now gonna do my brows super, super quickly. Um, and I'm gonna be filling them in with one of the new e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencils. And then I'm gonna be setting it with just my Maybelline Brow Gel. I use this all the time. But this is a new product for me because these are new shades. It's a new brow pencil. They're ultra, ultra thin. Um, and they kind of lean a little bit more on like the auburn tone of things, which I don't know how I feel about that color on me, but I was really interested in just the formula of this product, so I thought why not try it out. I also just wanted to do a really light feathery brow, so I felt like this color would be good for it. I'm liking the pencil so far. I actually don't mind the color. It's a little light, so it would depend on the uh, makeup look that I was going for that day. Um, but I do like it and the small tip really helps with like precise just quickly like filling in the brows All right, so now I'm just setting it with the brow gel. This will help also darken it up just a little bit 
Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the eyes. I'm gonna start with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm kind of calling this a first impressions because I used to use this all the time. Then I stopped using this for like over a year and I don't remember why. So recently I rebought like a miniature size of it and I was like, I don't know why I stopped buying this. So I decided to get a little travel size and make sure that I still loved it as much as I remember that I always did. Okay, so now for the eyes, I'm gonna be using a new palette that I got um, from Sleek Makeup actually, because they finally started selling this in the US and I was like, what? I haven't actually really touched this palette. I've had it for a while and I just kind of forgot that I bought it honestly because I got it for free. They were having some promotion. But this is their eyeshadow palette in the color Beautiful Sin. It's very like fall and winter time appropriate. The thing that scares me a little bit is a lot of these colors are shimmery they don't give you a lot of mattes but the two mattes that are in this palette are three actually they're all good like transition shades and good for like smoky eyes and stuff so figured we could play a little bit with this okay so first I'm just gonna take this really simple like camel nude color and I'm just gonna work that into the crease as something kind of like a transition shade basically that way we can just have something down before we put anything else on the eyes I actually don't really know what colors I totally want to play with today, but I figured that this transition shade would be good for like a multitude of looks. Okay, so next just to kind of buff into like the outer corner of the crease and look a little bit more like blown out and smoky, um, I'm going to mix this color right here with this more like burgundy shade, both of which are very shimmery because what I'm using on my lid is going to be very shimmery as well. Whoa, that's pigmented. blending quite nicely and for a shimmery shadow it's not anything too overpowering and there's no fallout so that's pretty nice I'm now going to take those same two colors and quickly run it underneath my lower lash line just to give it kind of that grungy look Okay, so now for the center of the lid, I'm gonna be going in with one of the brand new Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows, and this is in the color Twig. It's a very deep burgundy brown, like brick shade. Oh my God, it's like a twig. Gee whiz. So I'm gonna be applying this. I really like the glitter um, formula that they have of this. This is more of just like a shimmer formula, so I thought that, that would be kind of interesting to play with. These are so pigmented, are you kidding me? Then towards like the outer part of my eye, I'm just gonna kind of smudge that out with my finger. These ones are setting like super, super fast, faster than the glitter formula. I think because glitter takes a little bit more time to like dry down. But I feel like Stila can really, really do no wrong. And like these are kind of reminding me of um, the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty liquid eyeshadows. I really, really like those. And these are kind of giving me like the same formula feel, but I feel like these are gonna maybe last a little bit longer on the eyes. Now I'm just gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and just kind of blend out the outer corner a little bit more just to kind of make sure that that liquid shadow doesn't look too harsh and like it doesn't really <laughs> look blended out. Now I'm gonna highlight the brow bone with just this really shimmery gold color right here. Recently, like if I'm not doing a lot of makeup that day, I have just been loving popping a little bit of a shimmery color right underneath the brow bone and it just helps so much, especially when you're in the light. Now for mascara, I'm just gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. To be honest, I'm like not the biggest fan of this, but I'm almost done with it, so I've just been trying to like finish it out. Now for setting spray before I apply my lip product, I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Illuminating Makeup Spray. Typically, I would not use this because I have naturally oily skin, so I feel like that helps me look kind of illuminated all day. However, um, because it's the winter time and I do want a little bit more of a dewy look because my skin has been dry, I thought that this would be really nice. So let's try this. The mister on that is so fine, which, I don't know how to feel about that right now because it's it's really fine to the point that I don't know how much it's setting my face. As I'm looking at my makeup, I'm just gonna actually darken up 
the lower lash line a little bit more, adding in just a little bit of black. And I was looking at it and I was like, mm, something just doesn't look like it's balancing out right. I'm just gonna also pop a little bit of that shimmery gold color in my inner corner. There we go. Okay, I think that that helped really pull the look together just now. Okay, so now for lips, I'm going to be lining my lips with this Model Co. What is this called? Illusion Lip Liner. I got this in a birch box recently. It's just a nice nude color. And then I'm going to be filling in my lips with the Buxom. Gosh, what is this called? Full on lip cream in the color Blushing Margarita. This lip liner is quite nice. It's kind of like your lips, but better, I feel. All right, let's let this hair down because this bun is making me look like an egg. Okay guys, so what do you think? I kind of really, really like the way that this look came together. I think that my skin overall looks really, really good. I was definitely a fan of that concealer. I was a big fan of that blush from When Wild. I like my eyes. I overall think that this was a very successful first impressions, like full face video. I think that it was a very successful one for it being my first one. If you all did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up to let me know that you would like to see more on this channel. Please subscribe and help me grow the Ruby Rocks the World family. It would mean the world to me. Follow me on all my social media networks. Links are always in the down bar below. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day, night, afternoon, whenever you all are watching this video, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Okay, bye everybody.